Basho, the brush, is a fictional red fox, best known for his appearance on British children's television. He is portrayed by a glow puppet, but also has been depicted in animated cartoon shorts and comics strips. The character has featured on children's television show from 1960s to the present day. Bashel is a foray of ba- on bad jokes with his catchphrase. <laughs> Basho has made his first TV appearance in 1962 on ITV show called The Free Scampies, which was about out of a work circus act, consisted of Howard Williams, but Basho Bush and Sh- Streak McPie and an aggressive Scottish hedgehog voiced by Wally Weltham. The puppet of Basho and Spike were created by puppet maker. Peter Feynman and the voice actor Ivan Owen. After Bashel's success on the Free Scampies, he was invited to be a supporting act for the the magician David Nixon. Sometimes between 1963 to 1966, Bashel upstaged Nixon on his own show, Nixon at nine five and the Nixon line. You want them short? Yeah, nice and short. I see. You'll make right. them more cuts than Mr. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've done it, Basil. Yes. Now, put the, uh, put the knock in your mouth. In your mouth? Yes, yes. All right, get hold of it. Yes. Got it? Yes. Right. All right, got it? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. I, 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 what? I'm doing the trick. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> 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 In 1968, Bashel received his own show. Bashel the Brush shows first aired on June 14th, 1968. The show ran for 12 years from 1968 until 1980, which he was a supportive by various humans. They were mainly stored for the fox. They were straight men of the partnership. Sensible to say? Of course not. You get the straight lines, I get the gags. <laughs> I usually get the gags. I don't know what happened this week. <laughs> this was unique at the act at the time, as other children puppet shows, such as Scoot featured the puppeteer in person, while Owen was never seen on screen. By the mid 1970s, the show was aimed at a family audience. It was usually bro- Broadcast on BBC One in early evening time slot on a Saturday. This plus the degree of desification in humour. Oh, I didn't know you were a boxing fan. Oh, yeah, I enjoy a good fight. Oh, you're like a friend of mine. He enjoys fighting. Ah, is he a boxer? No, he's a terrier. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of a little terrier the way he is. <laughs> Help to give Basal a board in mainstream appeal. The format was typically featured on... Introducing by Basal and Mr. Thank you, hello, and welcome to the show. Uh, Well, come on then, say hello, Basil. Hello, Basil. (laughs) I mean, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody, won't be long. Which they would do a few jokes. To be entertained, come on, let's get the show on the road. Why, won't they let us do it in the theatre? (laughs) Of <laughs> course we're gonna do it in the theatre. Let's get this show on the road is a theatrical expression. Oh. You must have heard our producer say it. All our producer ever seems to say is, please give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old soul. Do you know, when he came to rehearsals this morning, hmm? I could tell he'd got out of the wrong side of the bed. Why? He had his wife's shoes on. Mm. <laughs> then a musical item featuring a guest singer or group. Well, Basil, it's time to bring on our special singing guest. Who is it? Who is it? It's Inspector Regan's sidekick from the Sweeney. Yes, from cop star to pop star. It's Dennis Waterman. Anyone for Dennis? Sometimes the guest singer would do 
a song along with Basel. Oh, Bill's got a special telephone line. Mm -hmm. So you can help him combat crime. Mm -hmm. So if you see a crime, then don't waste time. Just pick up the blower and dial 999. Finally, the show would conclude story time, which Mr. Wood would read aloud from a serial story. It's time once again for another episode in our thrilling serial story, Bulldog Basil, Secret Service Man. Each week, the story would end on a cliffhanger and the catchphrase... There was a sudden rustling sound from the ventilator above his bed. He moved towards it and then... Yes! A huge hammer dryad fell onto the pillow. And that's all we've got time for this week, Basil. Hang about. Hang about. <laughs> What's a hammy dry, Dad? It's a snake. A great big king cobra. What? That's as bad as a fearsome flying nana. <laughs> <laughs> Listen next week to another thrilling episode of Bulldog Basil, Secret Service Man. Cool. Basil's life was threatened by a great big deadly snake. If that cobra thinks he's fancy, call him, won't half make him ache. But Basil was undaunted. Yes, for dear old England's sake. Villains used to tremble when they heard his name. The British Raj was threatened and he knew what he must do. Defeat the Ying Tong Yid Lai Po and Chu Fan Silio Mu. Fearless and courageous. He was British through and through. Stand up for England, England home, home and duty. duty. He was a brave, brave man. <laughs> Bulldog Basil, a secret service man. In India and Africa, in China and Japan. They knew his reputation, he was a super spy. And the enemies of England heard his back to cry. In the 1980s, there were an argument between Ivy and Owen and the BBC. Owen wanted to move the show to mid-even time slot, but the BBC refused, leading to the show getting cancelled in, no in November 2016. The British Film Institute announced they were going to digitalise the show as the part of the five-year strategy between 2017 and 2022 to procure several shows from the 1970s and the 1980s. However, a lot of tapes were reportedly deteriorating and may not be playable. Bashal, the first minister, was act Rodi Beware. Beware has appeared in shows such as The Lucky Light lads as well as spit off whatever happened to likely lads i've made you a nice hot cup of tea she's left me now drink it while it's hot i never had a I chance put to put sugar in because you don't take sugar in tea now do you she's left me she hasn't left you for long well how do you figure that out case was too small you're such an expert you aren't you i should never listen to you in the first place should have bought the chocolates or the flowers or the teddy bear or all three <laughs> fatal well, what, pray, could be more fatal than this? Bob, this is just another fence in the steeplechase of marriage. You'll get over it. But what is important now is how you behave. Now, that is critical. You know, I'm sick of your tuition, master bloody mind. The reason I get into critical situations is because I keep using you as a marriage guidance counsellor. Send her. Well, what exactly happened? What were they doing down there? Search me. I shall have to tell them. I shall have to tell them. If they come around here asking questions, I shall have, have to, to tell, tell them. nobody, nothing. Have to. Nothing. Our motto is complete confidentiality, isn't it? All right. If you say so. And heartbeat. Oh, sadly, she's in a nursing home just now. Her health isn't so good, you see. I'm sorry to hear that. She's done a lot for the community, as Cynthia. Mm. Are you managing on your own then, Mr. Walton? Oh, I get by. <laughs> but I'm afraid domestic tasks are never exactly my thing. Derek Fort was was Brazil's minister from 1969 to 1973. Followed has appeared on shows such as Rob of Ness, Hello, good afternoon and welcome. This is Ricky Hart inviting you to Quiz Line. 
Now, on Quizline this afternoon, we were asking two of our council candidates, is their borough permanently marooned in the second division of urban life? Yes, Minister, as well as spit off your Prime Minister. You will, Minister. And uh, now, may I just have your approval for this Local Government Alliance's Amendment Number 2 for this year's regulations? Oh, what is it? It's a statutory instrument to be laid before the House as Minister responsible for Local Government. We need you to authorise that the revised Paragraph 5 of Number 2 Regulation 1971 shall come into operation on March the 18th next. Revoking Regulation 7 of the Local Government Alliance's Amendment Regulations 1954B. <laughs> the hell does all that mean? It's all right, there is an explanatory note, Minister. <laughs> These regulations are to make provision for prescribing the amounts of attendance and financial loss allowances payable to members of local authorities. Explanatory note, Regulation 3 of the Local Government Allowances Amendment Regulations 1971, the 1971 regulations, substituted a new regulation for Regulation 3 of the 1954 regulations. <laughs> Regulation 3 of the Local Government Alliance's Amendment Regulations 1972, the 1972 regulations, further made amends Regulation 3 of the 1954 regulations by increasing the maximum rates of attendance and financial loss allowances. Regulation 7 of the 1982 regulations revoked both Regulations 3 and 5 of the 1971 regulations, Regulation 5 being a regulation revoking earlier spent regulations. <laughs> with effect from 1st of April next. These regulations preserve Regulations 3 and 5 of the 1971 regulations by revoking Regulation 7 of the 1972 regulations. Inspector Mouse. He was unwell. You sat next to him on the coach and he was unwell then. Yeah. What sort of unwell? Uh, pains in the stomach? Uh, nausea, that sort of thing? Yeah, that is the sort of thing. He complained to you? I... I think so. You're from Cologne? I am. Ah. I know Cologne. I was stationed there, National Service. In which case, I'm not so well as you, possibly. Because I have lived there only a few years since. I am born in Leipzig. You know Leipzig? No. See, as a side, I have lived there all my life until I come to Köln. Marion Platz. Excuse, please. But where I was stationed? Oh, uh, München, Munich. No, no, Cologne. Kern. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I do. By the river. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. May I have a drink, please? and heartbeat. Roy North was in Brazil, Mr. from 1973 to 1976. Has a northern appeal to the show such as heartbeat. So what exactly is missing? Flashing off the barn and the soil pipe. I've had to stop the family using the lavatory. And we'll be up to yeah, our next right, in... All right, I'll get the picture. Did you hear anything? No. I'm a heavy sleeper. What about your wife? Earplugs. She says I snore. The bell. This um, Ian McKendricks is the business, yeah? Best I've had in ten years. Hospital reckons he might not play again. He's been with you for about three months, right? Yeah, we brought him down from Scotland. Now that goal, sad. Oh, magic. Edge of the box, drew the keeper, and curled it into the top corner. London Burden. Geoffrey Pierce. That's right. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you should have stuck to the younger model. Lover boy appears to be a little heavy on his feet. Judge John Deed. Mr. Rose, might I have a word, please? Be private. We're about to go into court. Can it key? It's important. North would later reunite with the Bajal and his Christmas song, Boom Boom, It's Christmas Again. Mr. Roy, I don't believe it. Happy Christmas, Basil. I've still got the Christmas jumper you gave me. <laughs> I say. It's worn a lot better than you have, Mr. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Still making us laugh after all these years. Now that's a gift. Oh, thank you, Mr. Roy. I say, Mr. Roy, yeah. you wouldn't be so kind as to read me my Christmas story. Yes, Basil. I'll settle in. Now, now once upon a time, yes. Basil 
set out of his house He's into the jungle. Fourth minister was the actor and TV presenter of Howard Williams. Same, Howard Williams from Scrambles. William was Brussels minister from 1977 to 1979. Billy Boyle. Boyle was Brussels minister from 1979 to 1980. Boyle had appeared in the show such as Professionals. No need to watch, Cal. This will tell us when someone gets worried. How do we get out? Look, don't worry. Too many clothes shaves. I had the clothes shave, me lad. And for the money we're getting, I'll take on anything they throw at me. Maybe he hasn't contacted her, and she knows nothing. Look, don't worry. I'll get something out of her now. Don't worry about it. Father Ted. Oh. Hello! Oh, oh yes. here is that being vaguely unhappy but not being able to figure out exactly why? No, this is how to break the news of a death. We were just talking about <laughs> techniques. I say it's best to just get it over with quickly. Your husband's dead, and he's not coming back. Get used to it. Ah, uh, yes, but sometimes a few little yeah. hints help, like, uh, remember how your husband used to love a good laugh? The bell. Mr. Rogers. That's right. PC Quinn, and this is PC Hollis. Oh, thank God you're here. This has been driving me up the wall. Well, I'll get straight to the point, Mr. Rogers. Exactly how much money do you think you're missing? At least 800 quid, but it could be a lot more. Well, haven't you any way of telling? Oh, I don't know how much is in the machines. Look, all I know is that in the space of a few weeks, our takings have gone down to nothing. Yeah, well, declining business is not a police matter. It could be loads of reasons why your takings are down. Could you ask the landlords to keep an eye out? Oh, yeah, they're keeping an eye out, but uh, can I trust them? Well, unless you come up with some hard facts, I really don't think we can help you. I'm sorry. It's September in 1997. The rights of Brazil the Brush were sold to Bill Hasran and founded the company Boom Boom. However, Hashman attempted at relaunching the Brazil show results of 55,000 loss. He sold Boom Boom to the children's media company Entertainment Rights in August 2000. The Entertainment Rights were announced the new six episode sitcom with the title Fox, which was co-production with Talent Television. They were in talks with both BBC and ITV for the series pre-sale after the toy deal with Hasbro. The series was retooled and became Brazil Bar Show. However, on the 17th of October, Ivan Owen sadly passed away at the age of 73. Michael Windsor, who took over the voice of Brazil Bush in January 2002, it was announced that Brazil the Brush Show was the air on C CBBC channel in Autumn series would instead be co-production with the foundation of the series set in a flat which owned by Brazil and his sidekick, Minister Stephen. Living with them was Stephen's nicest nephew, Molly and Dave, who left in the care of their uncle. I just remind you of what your mum and dad said before they went off gallivanting round the world. Right. While we're off gallivanting round the world, <laughs> your Uncle Stephen's in charge. I know he's a complete burk, but apparently on his passport it says that he's an adult, so you do what he tells you, right? Come on, Mum. Let's get gone. The fourth wall constantly is broken by characters often refer the fact that they are on a studio set. Well, I think I'm getting there. You know, in the light of day, it really is beautiful out here. Yeah, you're right, you know. If you squint hard enough, you'd almost believe it wasn't a cheap studio sit. Several episodes feature Scream and segments where the show crew became involved in the storyline. A whole lot more of her. Well, look, I'll see if I can hit her off at the pass. <laughs> I see. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Any chance you could arrange for me to get to the cafe before Miss Peck? <laughs> Don't you want to save Mr. Stevens' bacon? Oh, for Steve. Oh, anything for him. You can take a shortcut across the studio floor. In 2003, the album was released featuring two songs called Boom Boom and Christmas Slide, both sung by Basel and India D. Before the album was produced by the right record and released on the 15th of December before charting on the 27th of December 2003. The number 44 however in another song called Bounce Aside 
from the preview of Brazil the Brush unreleased VHS and DVD. Series 2 to 6. Instrumental version of Boom Boom was used for a closing credits. <laughs> Not. Say hello to Bungo. Bungo? Bingo's identical twin brother. <laughs> well, identical in every way save one. What's that then? Bungo's much, much worse. <laughs> Back up! <laughs> of series 5 in 2006. It saw the change to the show and its cast. There were changes that include the episode starring with an animated segment for features for the first boom boom joke. He got a little plaque. <laughs> boom, boom. After the boom boom joke, a new animated intro is used. The only episode where it does not start with the animated segment is Dalbash Cold. Today's tale comes with a terrible warning against the dark dangers of greed. It's a saga that spans the swirling mists of time and reveals a multitude of shocking revelations. And I'm not talking about the contents of Anna's wardrobe. No. This is the story of... The Basil Coat. <laughs> oh, 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 less of the smoke, Mush. There's a fine line between mysterious and blooming invisible. Oh, dear. <coughs> The last episode aired on of December 2007.